day my water routine consists of about five Phillips using this container and I, I sip on it all day long. Healthy, right? Well, many of those sturdy reusable plastic bottles contain a chemical, bisphenol A, that many scientists are worried about. The effects are re primarily reproductive and fertility effects in both uh, male and female organisms. This month, a large-scale government study will release its results. Animal tests have shown that bisphenol A affects hormones, but you find it in many baby bottles, too, and heating is thought to make it leach out even more. I thought these were safe. So how do you know what bottles it's in? To most of us, all plastic seems pretty much the same, but it's not. Each type is made of different chemicals. And this stuff, called PET, what our bottled water comes in. Behavior? Well, I think there's some very safe and simple steps that families can take to protect themselves from this health risk. It's hormones in our body and can affect the hormones. But, but are those bottles dangerous on first use or only on after we reuse them? The bottles with the numbers 3, 6, and 7 are not safe for use across the board. I think this is going to startle a lot of people. A Centers for Disease Control study detected BPA, is that bisphenol A? Yes. In the urine of 95% of adults sampled, scientists have measured BPA in the blood of pregnant women, in umbilical cord blood, and in the placentas, all at levels demonstrated in animals to alter development. I think this is going to startle a lot of people. A Centers for Disease Control study detected BPA, is that bisphenol A? Yes. In the urine of 95% of adults sampled, scientists have measured BPA in the blood of pregnant women, in umbilical cord blood, and in the placentas, all at levels demonstrated in animals to alter development. Now that's a very alarming fact, isn't it? Unfortunately, there's no level of exposure that has been identified as being safe. And children and women of childbearing age are especially susceptible. So are we worrying ourselves to death here? No, I think the science suggests that there is a, ma a major concern here. So like I said, this agenda of the Illuminati, the gay agenda, is in our foods and in our products that we use. It is chemically altering our body. So now that you understand all about the gay agenda of the Illuminati, you will now understand why the symbolism exists and why people talk about whether Jesus was gay. And by the way, don't be getting pissed off at me about this, because this is all over the internet. So like I said, that's exactly why the head of the church is named Peter. And by the way, notice how he's the color of purple. No, I've gone over this uh, many times in my videos, but Jesus, the red and the blue, equals the purple. So, like I've explained many times, the purple represents Saturn. The purple represents the mid-L, the transformation of the two. So that's why purple actually also represents gayness. Thus, the purple dragon, or the purple drag queen. So that's why you'll find plenty of perp L in Soul Plane where we find the purple drag queen flame, the flamer. So like I showed before, that's why in the Big Lebowski, you'll find plenty of purple and orange. And of course, who's dressed in purple? His character name is Jesus. And speaking of orange and purple and milk, we come to the clockwork orange which is full of purple. Or should I say the ultraviolence? The ultraviolet light that is known as a black light, which is actually a purple light. So I've explained about the MK Ultra mind control of the psyche, thus the ultraviolet unseen spectrum. So I explain how purple is related to drugs and psychedelics. Thus the parapsychology of the color of purple and how it affects the psychological or psycho 
of the Psyche Goddess, which was the butterfly, the color purple. And of course, like I explained, this is the goddess that they feature on the Olympic gold medal that comes in purple. So I've explained that the purple comes from Semitic origins. It comes from the Phoenicians, the scarlet or the purple. And of course, the purple represents the Phoenician whore, which we see today as the red light district, which is actually a ultraviolet purple light district. So of course, this is why the royal purple is why our royalty wears the color purple. Like Princess Diana in her purple, and of course, her little Thai beanie bear purple bear. And of course, this is why the royals of the church also wear the scarlet purple. So this is why we have the color purple related to, you know, the Phoenician whore or the, the goddess aspect. It's actually um, the color purple that we find in strip clubs as well. And when we go to movie theaters, you'll also find the color of purple. And of course, they use the color of the ultraviolet purple for the mind control during events and stadium events and concerts, which is exactly why they also use purple in music videos. And of course, the list goes on and on, and that's why we also find the purple in Hollywood films, which is why you find the purple on the door of Wizard of Oz. And of course, there's plenty of purple in the film of the Illuminati called Eyes Wide Shut, which requires you to enter through the purple door which reminds me of the purple door of the Dark Knight Rises, where I made a video series exposing all of the orange and the purple. And of course, the orange and the purple are the colors of the Joker. So just as I explained that Jesus is the color purple, he is the character of nature, his name means two, the Dios, the Zeus, the Dione, the Dia, thus he is the color purple which represents the character of nature, which is the exact same symbolism of the Joker, the purple one who represents the red and the blue, or nature. Thus, the purple half and half. So it's the red and blue of winter and summer, or of day and night. And when these two meet together, they form the purple. So at even, or at the evening, or the sunrise, you'll see the colors of purple which reflects the Daya or the Baya. It reflects the dualistic principle of the two. Thus Saturn sits in the mid L, the one who is purple. So this is why in the book of Revelations, we have the beast, the dragon, and of course all of the sickle and reaping and harvest and time, which refers to old Saturn L, and of course, the golden, purple, and scarlet. And of course, we have the lamb and the lion and the number seven, because this is all about the sun, the revelations that revolve. So like I said, the color purple is the color of transcendence, transformation from one realm into another realm. So of course, this is why the military hands out purple hearts that represent the destruction or the torturing death of our soldiers. So I could go on and on about the color purple, but I wanna focus in on a couple of subjects that I've already been covering and how they represent the color of purple. Remember the old goat bush in the school on September 11th? Well, the teacher was all dressed in scarlet purple. And of course, the 3D glasses of the red and blue make us see purple. And I've explained how the 3x3 three three represents Saturn. Of course, it's the 33, as in the 33 degrees of the Kabbalah or 
the Freemasonic Order. So this is why the Freemasonic Order has the 33rd degree of the Scottish Rite, the Inspector's General, who of course wears the color of purple. And of course, this is why Disneyland has the Club 33, which of course is why you'll find plenty of purple at Disney. So this is why Disney uses the color purple on all of their evil, debaucherous, pedophilic, and satanic characters. So this is why the color purple is used for the satanic, bloodthirsty vampires who suck our blood. And of course, Johnny Depp played a vampire. So this is also why Sesame Street has their purple vampire. So yes, we find the purple in the satanic vampires, but we also find the color purple in Satanism itself. And of course, we find it in the neo-paganism of the Goths. So believe me, there's a lot more behind the color of purple than most people realize. But what bothers me the most is when they market the color purple and use it for the mind control over children. So now you'll understand why these disgusting perverts use the color of purple in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And that's exactly why Willy Wonka is around the children all dressed in purple because it's all about the transformation. So I have to include this in the series about Russell Brand who is the little debaucherous gay pedophile. I believe he's just like Jimmy Savile, the debaucherous gay pedophile, who of course is always surrounded by the color of purple. Like when he performed at the Illuminati Games in 2012, which was all about the ultraviolet purple. Prejudices and get a man's winkle, stiff cock in my hand, a stiff veiny cock, and wank it into the orgasm. So wank a man cock into orgasm, see if that makes me gay. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a little, little wacky wacky on a man cock. So they go into an adult store, but you'll notice all of the colors of purple. It needs to be broken down. Prejudices makes you weak, innit? Open your. He's me, this is Russell. Oh, this no. is Russell, so pretend that's Russell. <laughs> Oh god, stop! <laughs> it's awful! A bit more open about it, so as I can back me a man, eh? Now the most disgusting part of this is that he is always associated with children. Picking up kids from hospitals, etc. Exactly like the pedophile Jimmy Savile. And it's disgusting because he's always kissing on kids. And you'll always find the color purple. So he goes on a show, Ant and Dex, a kid's show, on Saturday night, you'll notice. And of course, all of the purple. You look like a girl with the long hair. Can look very, very, I don't know, fancy. <laughs> what about this as a look? Q is one long word for you, little ant, and you, little dick. The word is recalcitrant. That's very good. Recalcitrant means willfully disobedient. That means being naughty on purpose, like you two. <laughs> now watch as they hand the children the golden ticket. Each year on Thanksgiving, Americans <laughs> gather for a day of feasting and football and family. The three Fs. Notice that it's Friday the 13th. Thank Russell Brand and check out his new children's book, Russell Brand's Trickster Tales to Pied Piper of Hamlin. This pedophile actually makes a book called The Pied Piper, who leads the children away to a sacred cave. The pedophile Pan Piper, the trickster, complete with King Saturn L and, of course, the color of purple. It's absolutely disgusting, all of the color purple symbolism, the pedophilia, and even the owl. The Illuminati shoves this in our faces, but people are just too blind to see the truth. 
He even wrote another book called The Revolution, which was the love backwards of evil.